Well, hello, and welcome back. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over um, a couple of quick hits, a couple of things that I think that we need to go over before we go on too much further. And I know you haven't even gotten into moving objects or copying objects or any of that, and we are going to get into that. But before we do, I think it's important to go over a couple of these um, little housekeeping items just to, uh, just to keep you going in the right direction. First of all, let's start off with talking about uh, working with toolbars. Now, um, as always, I always have you guys start in the AutoCAD Classic mode. And to do that, I have you go to the Tools menu, down to Workspaces, and then down to AutoCAD Classic. And what that does is that brings up an AutoCAD uh, work session that looks like this, where it's got some basic toolbars on the top and the Draw toolbar on the left, the Erase toolbar on the right, and of course the Command Line down there at the bottom. Well, occasionally, we want to work with different toolbars. And I want you to be able to recognize, or I want you to know how to open up different toolbars. Um, let's say if you're going to dimension something or a lot of things, you might want to open up the dimensioning toolbar instead of having to go and select dimension every time. So to access toolbars, to open up toolbars in AutoCAD, it's actually pretty simple. If you put your cursor, or excuse me, if you put your arrow over any toolbar and you hit your middle finger mouse button, it's going to bring up a long list of toolbars. And the ones that have the check marks by them are the ones that are currently open. Now, this list actually runs off the screen. So I've got some more down here uh, beyond this one that you can't see. And uh, on your screen, you probably have your resolution set so that you'd be able to see this whole window. If not, there is a little arrow. You see this arrow right here at the top? There's a little arrow down at the very bottom, and if you click and hold down that arrow at the very bottom, it'll allow you to scroll down and see all the toolbars. So, how do you turn these toolbars on? Well, once you have this, <clears throat> once you have this uh, window up, you just click on them. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to add the dimension toolbar to my desktop or to my workspace. I'm just going to click on the dimension toolbar right there, and there it is. It pops right up. Now, if it doesn't dock, and what I mean by docking is if it doesn't stick to one spot on the screen, uh, you can drag the toolbar around by just picking and holding your index finger mouse button on that blue bar right there. A couple of other things that you can do with these toolbars when they're out here. This is called floating, and these toolbars over here are considered to be docked. But when the toolbars are floating, first of all, you can move them around. Uh, you can close them by clicking on the X. You can reshape them. Notice as I move my mouse to the edges of the toolbar, it's going to give me a directional arrow there. Once I get that, if I hold my mouse button down, I'm able to pull down and reshape this toolbar. Okay. Um, I can also dock this toolbar. Let's say I wanted this toolbar docked up here at the top of the screen. I'm going to Get my put my cursor or put my arrow in the top of the blue bar there. I'm going to hold down my index finger mouse button. I'm going to drag the toolbar up towards the top. You'll notice as I get up there, you can see this little outline that I've got going. As I get closer to the top, it's going to switch to a smaller, thinner toolbar. Once it does that, or to a smaller, thinner outline, once it does that, I know that it's getting ready to dock if I let it go. So I'm going to move it up there, and once I see that it's that it's uh, wanting to dock, I'm going to let go, <clears throat> and that toolbar is going to be docked. Okay, so now that toolbar is actually part of this workspace up here. If I want to undock it or pull it down um, to the left of the toolbar, you'll see these two little lines. Well, if you hold down your index finger mouse button right on top of those lines, hold it down and then pull the toolbar down, you can pull it right back out here into your workspace. Okay? And that goes for any toolbar. Okay? So like this modify toolbar here that I have on the right, those little lines are up towards the top. I'm going to grab those lines and I'm going to pull this toolbar out here into my workspace. Now I've got my modify toolbar out here. Okay? To put it back, I'm just going to click on the blue bar, pull it all the way to the right until I see it switch. See, there it goes switched to a vertical toolbar. Now I know it's getting ready to dock if I let it go. I'm going to let it go, and there we go. Okay. So that's a little bit about working with toolbars. Again, to access those, 
put your cursor, put your arrow on any tool, um, any toolbar, hit your middle finger mouse button, and then use this simple little window here to turn on and off the toolbars that you want. Okay? Um, as a new user, one thing that you're going to have to get used to is making mistakes. Well, AutoCAD is uh, real nice when you make mistakes. Um, we have an undo button, again, just like a lot of Windows programs. We have an undo button right here at the top, and it's going to undo the last command that you did. Okay? So let's say I draw a line, then I draw a circle, and then I draw another line. Well, if I click on undo, it's going to undo the last command that I did, and that line is gone. Now, now the last command that I did was the circle. So if I click undo again, it's going to erase the circle. Now I say, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I actually want that circle back. Well, I have a redo button as well, so I can click on redo. Okay? And that's going to bring up the last undo command. It's going to redo the last undo command. Now I can only redo once, but I can undo all the way back to my last saved uh, up until the last time I saved. Okay, So it's going to remember all the commands. If you work for two hours, it's going to remember all the commands that you did all the way back to your last save. Okay, So that's undo and redo. Uh, the shortcut for those, say I draw a line. Instead of up, come on, coming up here and click, if I want to, I can just hit U. Notice on my command line, the letter U pops up, and then hit Enter. And that's going to undo. And if I want to redo, I just type in R-E-D-O is what I type in. There's probably a shortcut for it. I just don't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, but we're going to talk about command aliases in just a little bit. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I've got a couple of more quick hits I want to go over with you guys. Um, setting drawing limits and setting drawing units. And then also I'm going to try to squeeze in there talking about command aliases and shortcuts to some of these commands so you don't have to use these toolbars as much. So that's all for right now. Uh, I know it was a short tutorial, but hopefully informative. And in the next one, uh, we're going to get a little bit deeper. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.